this video is about how your child hears with and without hearing aids. At the end of this video, you will have a better understanding of what your child's hearing loss is like and how technology can help. When parents first find out that their child has hearing loss, they often feel like they've hit a wall. Most parents feel unprepared. Most feel uninformed. That's normal, but that won't last. The first thing that you might have learned is that having a hearing loss usually does not mean that you can't hear anything at all. Just like having a vision problem doesn't usually mean you're totally blind. So, how much hearing does a child with a mild hearing loss have? And how can we best make use of that hearing to develop strong speech and language skills? To describe typical vision, we say someone has 20-20 eyesight. We compare the eyesight being tested with what most people can see at 20 feet. Comparison. Comparing a person's eyesight with what is typical. They have a particular chart for this first step. This is the chart that most people have seen. If you have 20-20 or better vision, you probably have never gone on to be shown the more specific eye charts for prescribing eyeglasses. These different charts are step two, personal prescription. These very specific charts are for determining, in one person's very specific case, which types of lenses will help the most, the right lenses for the right person. The charts people with visual impairment see inside this crazy contraption are for prescribing those lenses. Step one, comparison. How different is vision from what most people can see? And step two, personal prescription. What helps in this particular case? This is why the audiologist will show you two different charts representing your child's hearing. The first is for comparison. How different is your child's hearing from what most people can hear? And the second is for prescription. What can we do with technology to best help in your child's particular case? Just like the more specific eye charts are for best fitting eyeglasses, this second chart is best for setting hearing aids. The audiologist sets the hearing aids so that your child has the best chance to hear speech and language. Let's first have a quick look at the HL audiogram. Low frequencies are marked at the left, going up to high frequencies on the right. With this chart, soft sounds are marked at the top, going to loud sounds at the bottom, measured in decibels. The water represents everything a person with typical hearing can hear. Above the waterline, sounds are too quiet to hear. At the waterline, they are just loud enough. This is called the threshold of hearing. Most people can just begin to hear soft sounds when they are this loud, between 0 and 15 decibels. Between 0 and 15 decibels is considered typical hearing. Down at the bottom of the chart, sound becomes too loud to be comfortable. Let's say that's the bottom of the ocean. The low, loud sound of a dog barking might be charted here. And the louder sound of a lawnmower here. Where are the sounds of speech? At three feet away, they're loud enough to fit inside this submarine shape. There is speech to be heard at low, mid, and high frequencies. When a child's hearing is tested, the audiologist searches for the level at which that child just begins to hear sound. In this example, the child's hearing threshold is here, at this new waterline. Above this line, sounds are not heard. Notice that the S, T, CH, and TH sounds are above this waterline, and so won't be heard by this child when the person speaking to them is a meter or about three feet away. These sounds are very important in learning language. The name for this degree of hearing loss is mild. It's a term that actually seems to compare to greater degrees of hearing loss, but what we are concerned about is how this hearing loss compares to typical hearing. Now that we have our HL audiogram results, let's move on to the other audiogram, called the SPLogram, which is for creating a personal prescription for setting hearing aids. For this audiogram, frequencies are still organized from low on the left towards higher frequencies on the right. For loudness, though, the SPLogram is flipped with the soft sounds at the bottom going up to the loud sounds at the top. <laughs> I 
Also, it's important to know that the decibels used here are defined a little different than those used on the other audiogram. They are based on specific units of sound pressure, and this is so that the audiologist can more finely tune the settings on the hearing aids. This is the level at which most people just begin to hear soft sounds across the frequencies. Let's say where most people start to hear the softest sounds is at ground level. People can't typically hear what happens below this line. So, on the sbl -ogram, this is the threshold of hearing. And the sky is what is heard, going from soft sounds, like rustling leaves, to louder sounds like a dog barking, or the lawnmower. We will say that loud sounds that are too loud begin at the sky-space line. The audiologist can set the hearing aids to never make sounds loud enough to go above this line. Now the audiologist needs to consider where speech usually is. This is where average speech usually happens. Your speech will be softer and louder at times, and someone else in your family might speak softer or louder as well. Since speech varies in loudness, some sounds are louder up at this line, and some are softer down at this line. The audiologist wants your child to hear all of it. The audiologist will take the levels from step one, the HL audiogram, and convert the numbers to this chart, the spl -ogram. Remember the decibels are different, so that's why the numbers taken from the HL audiogram testing will look a little different here. This is how a child's hearing with a mild hearing loss might look on this spl -ogram. We'll put clouds over the lower part. This child can only hear sounds that are loud enough to get over the clouds. So this is the hearing threshold of the child in this example who has a mild hearing loss. You can see how soft speech will not be heard and how, for average and even loud speech, the high frequency sounds would not be heard. The audiologist uses this information to set hearing aids. Hearing aids to amplify speech to the best possible loudness for this particular child to hear it. Loud speech is amplified to hear, well above the child's threshold of hearing. Average and soft speech is amplified here. Technology today allows very precise fitting of hearing aids to best help with each child's particular hearing loss. Remember, there are two types of audiograms important for understanding usable hearing. The first is the HL audiogram, the submarine audiogram, which tells how your child's hearing compares to typical hearing. The second is the spl -ogram, the sky audiogram, which helps the audiologist to help each child to hear best through technology. Just like glasses are sometimes necessary for understanding what you see, Hearing aids help a child with hearing loss to hear what is most important for their overall development. Speech and language spoken by the people who love them. Remember, when you hear well, the sky is the limit.